Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to change the Wi-Fi network settings on your data manager card in case if you have changed your modem or your Wi-Fi network's password or even your Wi-Fi network's name. In order to do this, you need access to the inverter and uh, Wi-Fi enabled device. And before you start off with, uh, make sure that you are able to access the internet by connecting your Wi-Fi enabled device to your Wi-Fi network. Now I'm going to show you how to change the Wi-Fi password on the Fronius uh, Data Manager card. What you need to do is um, go to the settings by pressing the second button from the left hand side and scroll down to the right and you reach setup. As soon as you reach setup, press the fourth button to enter into setup and then scroll down to the Wi-Fi access point by pressing the second button again and then enter into it and then you need to activate the Wi-Fi access point by pressing the fourth button again and now the Wi-Fi access point is active. Once the Wi-Fi access point is being active on the inverter, you got to go to your settings on your device, click on settings and go to the Wi-Fi settings on it and then look for the Fronius Wi-Fi access point or the inverter's Wi-Fi access point which is usually Fronius 240 followed by few digits or in case of a Simo hybrid it's 239 followed by few digits. Click on it and then enter the password which is 12345678 and then click on join and now we are connected to the Wi-Fi access point of the inverter. You may need to change your Wi-Fi password if you have uh, changed your modem or your service provider or recently uh, shifted to NBN. Now let's have a look on how to change the password. Once your device is connected to the Wi-Fi access point, go to the web browser on your device, click on it and then on the address bar, enter the IP address 192.168.250.181 and then click enter. So this one takes you to the PB Inverters homepage where you can change the Wi-Fi network settings or password. So click on settings which is on the right hand side of the page. So as soon as you go into the settings, there are a list of options on the left hand side of the page and the third option would be network. So click on network. Move the bed. So once you enter into the network settings, look for the list of devices, Wi-Fi network devices that are that is available. So here my network's name is Data Logger. So click on Data Logger first and then to enter the password click on set so once you enter the password just to double check if you have entered the right password check this box called show password just to make sure you have entered it again because uh, sometimes on your device there is an option called auto capitalization which capitalizes the first letter of your password just a tip and click on save once you are done with it click on configure wireless LAN IP and just make sure that it's set to dynamic and click on OK and that's all done but in order to update these settings you got to click the tick button to make sure that the settings that you've changed are being updated in the data manager card. And once the settings were successfully saved, a small window pops up saying these settings were saved successfully. Click on OK. 
once you have uh, changed your Wi-Fi password, just to double check if they have been updated in the data manager card settings, what we have to do is uh, go back to your inverter, activate the Wi-Fi access point, and connect your device to the Wi-Fi access point. And then we have to go back to your web browser, type in the IP address 192.168.250.181.1. Press enter and it takes you to the PV Inverters homepage. And here there's an option called System Information. So you click on System Information. And under System Information, you can, can read out a message called LED States. And you, you got to make sure the globe icon is green so if the globe icon is green it it means that your Wi-Fi network is active and your data manager card is able to connect to the in internet thanks for watching this video guys and uh, hope you find it informative and now you know how to change the Wi-Fi password settings on the Fronius data manager card